Good evening again and welcome to our Tuesday evening prayer response. Uh, I want to thank God for you and your family. I want to thank God for you joining us. And I hope you have had a, a good uh, week so far. Um, uh, based on what uh, we have been teaching for two Sundays now, we uh, are going to start praying again concerning uh, what we have prayed for. That if you listen to what we have said on Sunday, the message on Sunday, it talks about us being the light and the salt of the earth. But as Christians, we are the light of the world, and as Christians, we are the salt of the earth. Why is that so? Because Jesus, who is, our, uh, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, is the light of the world. And if he, has, uh, if he is the light of the world, then he has made us the light of the world because like, he has made us like himself. All right? So therefore, this evening, we'll begin to pray that God will help us to be the light that he has created us to be, to walk in light, to live in light, to conduct ourselves as light, to bring illumination to our world. So just begin to pray and just begin to thank God that God has created you in such a way he has brought you to a place where he has made you light to the world. Just begin to thank him, begin to bless him, begin to glorify him and thank him for making you the light that you are. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you have made us light. You have made us light to the world. Just as you are light, you have made us light. We give you praise and we thank you. Help us to be able to conduct ourselves as light. Help us to be able to walk in light. Help us to be able to uh, manifest the light that you have made us to be. We give you praise and we bless you. We glorify you. Thank you for helping us. And as we go into this time of prayer, we thank you because you help us. You will be with us. You uh, strengthen us to be able to pray according to your will. Father, we bless you and we glorify you in the name of Jesus we have prayed. Why is it so important that we should embrace this light? The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, he said, arise, shine, for your light has come. He said, arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So three things there that he said. He said, you should arise, you should shine, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In other words, when light comes, just as it has come, it has come. when light is upon us, just like God has made us to be light, and the light of God is upon us, and we're conducting ourselves like Jesus, three things should be happening to us. We should be seeing the manifestation of us arising. We should be seeing the manifestation uh, of, of us is it shining. And we should be seeing the manifestation of us manifesting the glory of God. So when we are light and we are functioning in light, we, we have the ability to rise, we have the ability to shine, and we have the ability to manifest the glory of God. So let's just start praying, praying concerning us being light. Just thank God that he has made you light in the name of Jesus. And because your light has come, who is Jesus Christ? You have the ability to be able to arise, to arise from the ashes that is called uh, uh, sin, to arise from the ashes that is called deprivation, to arise from the ashes that is called discrimination, to arise from the ashes of hate, to arise from anything that is making you uh, uh, ineffective in the things of God. You have the ability and the power to rise. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we declare this evening in the name of Jesus. And we glorify you, O God. We thank you, O God, because we are rising up, O God, in the name of Jesus. That as families, we are rising up from the ashes of hypocrisy. In the name of Jesus, that as families, we are rising up, O God, from everything that is holding us back down that we are not able to manifest as being your light, O God, in the name of Jesus. We are rising up as individuals, O God, in the name of Jesus, to that place where you have brought us, O God, to be able to be reconcilers, to be and manifest that ministry of reconciliation, O God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God, because we are rising up for everything that is putting us down, that is holding us down, to fulfill the purpose and the counsel of God concerning racial reconciliation and re, uh, uh, racial relations and reconciliation. We thank you, God, because you are helping us to arise from everything that is holding us down from manifesting, oh God, the, your, the, the gifts that you have given us to be able to be able to release men, oh God, from the bondage of racism, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We are rising tonight. 
we are lifting up our hands tonight. Every feeble knee is strengthened in the name of Jesus. Every falling hand is lifted and supported, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are not tired because we can arise. We are arising from every situation and every circumstance that is holding us down. Thank you, oh God, because we are not down. We cannot be kept down, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Instead, we are arising and we are manifesting the will and the purpose of God and the counsel of God concerning racial reconciliations. Thank you, oh God, for being light. The light has come and we are no longer down. The light has come. Understanding has come. The light has come. We are no longer in darkness. Father, we thank you because darkness is not holding us down. Bondages are not holding us down. In the name of Jesus, we are strengthened, oh God, to be able to walk in the reality and the fullness of that which you have made us to be. Thank you, oh God. We bless you. We glorify you and we exalt you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. All right. He said, arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine. This evening, I just want us to just begin to pray that God will help us to be able to shine in every place that he has put us. That we will be his feet, we will be his might, we will be his hands, we will be his mouthpiece. We will shine, and as we shine, we are revealing the presence and the manifestation of God in our hearts and in our lives. Just lift up your voices this evening and just begin to pray that God, in the name of Jesus, I am shining. I am shining. My light is not dimmed. In, in, in the book of, uh, uh, in, in the book of uh, Matthew uh, 5.13, um, uh, it says you, can, it say you cannot be a, a light. It says it, it say the light is not lit and kept under the bushel, but it is kept on a stand. So that it can be shining, it can be, I mean, so that it can shine out. He says that apart from the light uh, uh, shining out, he says that when you are light, when you are light, you become that city set on a hill that cannot be hid. In other words, you are shining. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O God. Just begin to lift up your voice. Just thank him. Thank him that you are shining. You are a city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. You are a light that is lit that is not kept under the bushel, but you are kept on a stand where men can see and the light of God is shining from you to other men in the name of Jesus. That we are lights of God. We are the lights for the counsel and the purpose of God. We are light to the character and the nature and the abilities of God that God can do in man. We are the light to the change that can come in the lives of men. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just pray for our constituency. We pray for everyone, everywhere, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, because as we shine, your glory is being manifested in us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, because men see us and they see the light. Men see us and they see you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you and we thank you. We exalt you. Thank you for helping us to be the light, to be shining, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are shining. We're a city set on a hill. The church is a city set on a hill. Our church is a city set on a hill. We thank you and we bless you and we glorify you. We praise your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The other one said, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. We are glory carriers. We are the carriers of God's glory. And I tell you, discrimination is not part of God's glory. Hate is not part of God's glory. And I tell you also that racism is not part of God's glory. And therefore, we are manifestors, we are manifestors of the glory of God. And as we manifest the glory of God, we are manifesting God's reconciliation to the world. We are manifesting Jesus' deliverance and how he has set men free in the name of Jesus. So just begin to lift up your hands and begin to just thank God and lift up your voice and just say, God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because I carry your glory. I carry your glory, O God, in the name of Jesus. And racism is not part of your glory. Discrimination is not part of your glory. Putting people down is not part of your glory. Uh, exalting myself more than I ought to is not part of your glory. But this evening, I'm carrying your glory. I'm carrying the glory of the living God. I'm carrying your presence, your presence which is manifested in your glory in the name of Jesus. And therefore, wherever I go, whatever I do, in the name of Jesus, your glory is being manifested in the name of Jesus. And as I carry your glory, I thank you, God, because chains of racism is broken. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that as I carry your glory and I walk in the reality and manifest your glory, I thank you because the chains of discriminations are broken, oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your church. We pray for your church, oh God, for the manifestation of your glory upon your church. When the glory came, no man could stand because God 
was in complete and total control. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because the evidence of your glory is that you're in total and complete control of our lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And that is what you are doing. We are movers and workers in your glory, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We manifest your glory. We manifest your presence. We manifest your ability, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, oh God, because your agenda concerning race is being manifested in us as we carry your glory, oh God. We, we are examples, oh God, of the glory of God. We're examples of the person of God. We're examples of the greatness and the goodness of God. So men, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And because we realize and we understand that we are carriers of your glory, we are bearers of your glory. Father, we thank you and we glorify you because we are manifesting your manifest, you, we are manifesting your, your intentions and your purposes concerning every man. Thank you, oh God, because from now on, in the name of Jesus, we take on the burden of carrying your light. We take on the burden of carrying your glory. We take on the burden of shining your light, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, oh God, because you say, Take my body, for my body is easy and is light. Therefore, we take this body of being light to the world, O oh God, on ourselves, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We put ourselves in place of being a bond servant of the light of God, like Paul said, in the name of Jesus. He said, I am a bond servant of Jesus Christ. This, this evening, in the name of Jesus, we declare that as, as individuals and as a church, we declare we are bond servants of the light of Jesus Christ. We are born servants of the glory of God. We are the born servants of the manifestation of the power and the purposes of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you and we glorify you and we thank you. Thank you for your light that is shining. Thank you for your light that has been manifested. We give you praise, we glorify you, we exalt you. Thank you, O oh God, because we are the epitome of the light of God. And we are the epitome, the church is the epitome of what can happen when every man submits themselves and their wills to God. Father, we give you praise. We thank you and we glorify you. Father, we bless your holy name. We exalt your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. If you look at, uh, if you look at that Matthew, uh, look at what they say concerning the, concerning the light. Uh, 14, he say, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. So in other words, as Christians, we are already built on a hill. We cannot be hidden. And if your light is not shining, if your light is not shining, there's a problem. And that is why a lot of times people look at the church as hypocrites. They look at us as hypocrites because we are standing there on the hill. But our lights are not shining. Look at what he said again. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under the bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Is your light giving light to everyone? In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. In other words, our lights are the revealer of the good works that God has created us for. So I just want you to lift up your voice this morning and begin to, to say, God, I know I'm a citizen on a hill, but help me to be able to reveal the light. Help me to be able to re reveal the light of God that is present in me. Help me to be able to be uh, that, that light that you have made. Help me to be like uh, that lighthouse that gives signal and direction to the ship that is coming from the sea. That in the midst of the darkness, thick darkness of the sea, there is that light. There is that hope. There is that uh, 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 that lighthouse that I am that gives hope and direction to people of the world in the name of Jesus because the world is already full of darkness. I thank you, O oh God, because I am light to the world. That is what you have made me in the name of Jesus. I want you to also to pray this prayer for the church of Jesus Christ that we are light. We are already a city set on a hill that God will help us not to be a city set on a hill that is full of darkness but a city set on a hill that is full of light, that brings direction to the world, that allows the world, that shows the world where they need to go and what they need to do in every situation and in every circumstance. I want us to just begin to pray. Pray for the church. Pray for her leaders in the name of Jesus. That hypocrisy will be, will be taken away from us because we're already lights. We're already a city set on a hill. There's nothing else we can do 
other than to be light in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus because we have no any other option but to be the light that you have made us to be. In Jesus' name, we pray, O God, in the name of Jesus, for our leaders, for everyone that is in position of authority in the church, that you continue to open our eyes and the eyes of our understanding of how we'll be light and our light to shine brighter and brighter. Because you say to the righteous or to the just, his light shines brighter and brighter as unto a perfect day. Father, we thank you that we are not just going to be a light that is just shining, but we are a light that is shining and improving and increasing in its light, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That the world will see us. We are a lighthouse to the world, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for anything that is covering the light of Jesus Christ that is already present in us. We come against this evening in the name of Jesus and we declare that everything concerning the light of God has a free passage in us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The light of God in us has free expression in the name of Jesus. In our families, in the church, in our places of business, the light of God has free expression. Father, we glorify you and we thank you. We bless you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are lights to the people around around us, O oh God. We are light to everyone around us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing concerning your church, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you and we bless you. We glorify you for the light of God that is present in the church. We glorify you for the light of God that is present in everyone individual, O oh God, of the member of the body of Christ. We give you praise, O oh God, that our lights will not go dim but instead they will wax stronger, they will wax brighter and wax lighter, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That like your word said, we are, our lights are shining brighter and brighter every time, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. We glorify you. And we thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. How do we make this light? How, how does this light, how does this light shine brighter and brighter? He said, let your light so shine. In other words, there, there, there are levels of this light that can shine, that you are allowed to shine. You can allow it to shine, you can allow it to shine brighter, you can allow it to shine bright or brighter or brightest. He said, let it so shine, that's what it qualifies it. Let it so shine. In other words, there's an ability on you to be able to control how much light you are revealing. But now the Bible is telling us that it will be, the Bible is telling us to do it to the maximum. So shine before men that they will see your good works and give glory to God who is in heaven. God has endowed every one of us. There is something that God has put on every one of us. There is something that God has called every one of us. There is something that God has called the church to do. And no matter how we'll dice it or slice it or slice it and dice it, I want to guarantee you that if we're not allowing the light of God to shine, the purposes and the counsel of God for individuals and for the church will not be seen. That's why he said, let your light so shine before men so that they will see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. God wants to get glory. God wants to get glory from us. And it's the church that will bring that glory to him. The church has been destined. The church has been created to bring glory to God. No wonder I say, thou word you, Lord, to, uh, thou word you, Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you have created all things, and for your pleasure they were created. In other words, all things are created to bring glory to God. So this evening, just begin to pray that God help my light to so shine. Help my light to so shine. Help me with my light. Let it so shine before men. Let it so shine before men. Let it so shine before me that they will see the good works that you have done in me. That they will see the good works that you have created me for. That they will see the good works that is manifested through me. That they will bring glory and to bring glory to you, O oh God. We thank you and we bless you, O oh God, because your light is shining so bright in us. It is shining so bright at work fun. It is shining so bright in our families. It is shining so bright in the body of Christ that they are seeing our good works and they are giving glory to the Father in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus that we know that if our light is not shining, if our light is kept like a light that's kept under the bushel, no glory comes to you, O oh God. But at the end of the day, you want glory and you have created us to bring glory to you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you that your light is shining so bright before us, O God. Your light is shining so bright in us, through us, and towards us, O God, and towards the world from us. And men see our good works and they bring glory to you. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We, help, we, we thank you for helping us, O God. Thank you, O God. Your spirit is helping us. Your spirit is blessing us. Your spirit is bringing us to that place where we can bring glory and honor to your name which you rightly deserve, O oh God. Father, we give you praise. We glorify you and we honor you. We bless your holy name. You are wonderful. You are great, O oh God. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. One, one, one final thing I want to say, one final thing I want to say, is that though we have the ability to so shine, to make this light shine, 
what, 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 how, what is that thing that is within us, within the context of our ability, that helps us to make our lights shine brighter? I have just one thing for you, and it is the Word of God. All right? The, 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 the psalmist say, he said, Thy word is a lion, lamp unto my feet and a light unto my parts. All right? So the Word of God is light to us. The Word of God is the light of God to us. It is what the, the, the Word of God, in other words, the Word of God makes the light of God which is Jesus that is already in us, that is already present in us, to shine brighter. In other words, the more you know of Jesus, the brighter your light shines. The more you understand Jesus, the greater your light shines. And therefore, this afternoon, we understand, this evening, we understand that the only thing that can help us to understand Jesus the more, to know Jesus better, is the Word of God. And as we commit ourselves to the Word of God and open our hearts and our minds to understand the Word of God better, the light of God will shine brighter in us and through us. Therefore, this evening, I just want you to just begin to open your hearts and open your minds and open your mouth and begin to declare that God help me to be able to understand your word better. Help me to fill my heart with your word. David says, Thy word have I hidden in my heart. Help me to be able to hide your word in my heart. Help me to be able to keep your word in my heart that so that it will reveal the light because it is only in your word that my light will shine brighter because your word brings an understanding of Jesus to me. Your word brings a clarity of Jesus to me. And the more clearer Jesus is to me, I mean the clearer Jesus is to me, the better my, my, the clarity of your light is from me to the world. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, Father, we just open our hearts and our minds. We open ourselves up, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to the understanding of your word. We declare, like your word says, that the eyes of our understanding is being enlightened that we know the knowledge of the truth of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are revealing yourself to us through your word. You're exposing your word to us through your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power of your word that is present in us. Thank you for that word, O oh God, that is washing away everything that is unseemly in us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. That word that is washing us whiter and brighter, it is clearing our hearts, it is purifying our minds, O oh God. Your word is renewing and purifying our minds, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we're able to shine your light and be able to do that which you want us to do, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for prejudices that have been embedded in our hearts and in our minds. Your word is entering and it is doing its surgical work. Just like your word said, that the word of, the, the word of God is quick and active. It is sharper than any two or just one. It is, it is fighting and going into the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that we, reveal, we release our hearts and our minds to the searching of your word, O oh God. Search our hearts and our minds and our thinking, O oh God, with your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Help our minds, O oh God, to be able to receive your word. Help our thinking and our understanding to be able to get your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Because we want to shine brighter and we know your word is a fuel that brightens that light, that brightens that fire of God on our inside. Father, we thank you and we glorify you. We open our eyes, we open our hearts and our minds to the understanding of your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, because you are revealing your word, you are revealing yourself, you are making yourself known to us. We give you praise. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you for the deposit of your word. We thank you because of the deposit, O oh God, of your understanding. We thank you because of the deposit of the revelation of Jesus Christ that is present and is growing and is increasing in us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And therefore, your light is burning brighter. Your light is shining brighter in us in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We glorify you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, this evening, we just want to thank you Thank you for blessing us and being with us. We thank you, O oh God, because we are the light of the world, like you have said, concerning us. We are city set on a hill. We are not hidden. And we thank you because your light in us is not hidden, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Instead, your light is shining brighter. It is burning brighter in us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our light so shines before men. It is revealing your glory. The good works that you have put in us is being revealed and your glory is being made manifest in us. Father, we thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus. We glorify you because of your light. We thank you because of the testimonies that are coming, because your word is going in. It is doing a surgical work in our minds and in our hearts and in our brains, O God. Things are changing because your word is washing us clean. It is purifying our minds clean. It is renewing our minds, O God. It is changing our minds from the, from, from the mindsets that we have 
to the mindset of Jesus Christ, O oh God. You say, let this mind be in you, O oh God, which was also in Christ Jesus. That is the same mind you are giving us through the instrumentality of your word, O oh God. The mind of Christ is present on our inside. And therefore, we are doing things the way we should be doing them. We are seeing men the way we should see them. We are seeing our neighbors the way we should see them. We are doing unto them the way you will do unto them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are loving people the way you want us to love them in the name of Jesus. Father, most of all, we just want to thank you for your church. That is the light to the world. Father, we praise you that the glory of your good works in the church will not diminish, but it will increase. It will grow. It will expand. We we'll bless you and we we'll give you praise. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this Tuesday evening. Just remember to join us tomorrow evening for uh, our uh, prayer response. It is normally supposed to be our midweek refuel, but because of where God is leading us now temporarily, we are praying every Wednesday also. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we are praying. And don't forget that we are no more uh, praying on Friday afternoon. I just wanted to put that in mind that we're no, more, we're no longer praying on Friday afternoon. Instead, we're praying on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And Sunday is our normal celebration service. Thank you for joining us. God bless you and see you tomorrow.